Hello, digital citizens. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology at work for career success and at home for their families. This is day 15 of the July Creators Challenge, and our prompt for today is to show the audience how to do something. I'm gonna show you how to create a background for your StreamYard live stream. Let's dive into that right after this. Okay, I'm gonna go into StreamYard and look at the dimensions and then we'll dive in. Get my desktop up here, all right? So in StreamYard, here we have background for, and if we hover over the background, it's gonna show us 1280 by 720 and that's what we need. So I go over to Canva and click Create Design, Custom Dimensions, 1280 by 720 is what we need. So I'm clicking create uh, new design. I am making this background for church tomorrow. This is what it looks like and I'm gonna recreate that over here. So I've grabbed the background. I just, I grabbed this back, one of the backgrounds in here, throw it on the canvas to cover it. So now that's my background. Um, I'm gonna take the www since I already have that downloaded I've got the Instagram logo downloaded um, I need a couple of photos so I'm gonna grab an element and put that on there Let's see if we got one and I'm gonna size that down a little um, drag it over here to the bottom this is where it's gonna be but I'm only doing that because I want to copy and paste it so copy paste paste I'm doing that twice because I've got three photos to pull in here and I'm really just putting them in in place uh, to be able to pull pictures in these two logos are gonna go down here at the bottom as well uh, on top of one another um, and again I'll, I'll get those sized right in a, in a second so back to my uploads folder where I've got a bunch of resources um, Ebony Marks is our singer for tomorrow so I just drag that picture and hover over that circle and it grabs her it, it grabs her face which is perfect and and it does it just pulls her in just like that if I want to uh, edit that a little bit I can double click it, make it a little bigger, but you see where that circle is, that's where I know I need to be. So, and then hit enter, and it gives me that picture. Okay, so she is singing. Um, I believe we have a guest speaker, I just grabbed his picture. Um, Dr. Julian Johnson is going to be speaking for us tomorrow. So drop that in there. And then there that adjusts. Um, his, I think, is okay. I want a little more of his head than his shoulders and body. Because this is going to be at the bottom of the screen and it's going to be fairly small. So I might probably did too much now. Actually, no, that works. So get them lined up there, hit enter, and there you have it. Here's Brother Johnson, Dr. Johnson. Um, then of course, we always put our fearless leader. Let me grab the bridge logo as well. Clicking the image drags it onto the canvas. Um, grabbing a picture of Pastor Green, and then there he is, uh, again, much as we like his pose there, don't necessarily want to have so much of his body really focusing on his head. Um, we could pull in a little more, it's just the way we did with uh, Dr. Johnson. So yeah, about there, enter button. So 
So I'm gonna take the bridge logo, put that in the top right. this over a little bit and down actually want it up uh, just a little bit sometimes the mouse movements are a little too quick so if you want you can just tap it and use the keyboard to to adjust it I am making those a little smaller because I want them to fit underneath the video so um, want to make sure that that is in place as well so it always gives you some reference points with those red lines and so I'm dragging this down to hopefully where that red line pops up and I think I passed it right there is where we want it to be well and, down. and we're gonna grab this pull it over my assumption is um, if you're watching this you probably already know how to type <laughs> so I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time with the other pieces I'm gonna cheat a little bit and grab from a previous week um, control C for that come up here Control V oh and then it, it goes to the other one the, where I copied it from it just puts it a little bit over so I'm gonna put virtual church and then of course update the date so virtual church 718 and we want, in fact, I just want both of these. All right, so now we've got the bridge HSV, and that's our handle for um, for Instagram. If you haven't followed us, you need to go ahead and do that. place right in the bottom corner because that also in look shows up well on screen so virtual church 718 we got the bridge logo we have the three people who are speaking who will be on camera um, <clears throat> I do like to have their names and so I'm just gonna cheat and copy Pastor Green's name <laughs> um, and then we'll paste that same thing in for the others this is the reason why I wanted it off at the bottom a little bit so that I can put them put the last name uh, right at the bottom of the screen and even with that you want to be careful to leave some space so that you don't cut off their name um, actually like on the stream itself I don't know if you see yeah on the stream itself sometimes it, 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 it will cut off that last name or cut, cut off that l the very bottom line so I'll show you a, a way to, to move them strategically so let's get her name on here Parks. if you haven't heard Ebony lead praise and worship you need to check us out tomorrow because that is going to be fire and Ebony is also going to be on how it all works on Monday on our big three show public relations social media and branding so you want to check that out as well so then we uh, what I do is I grab all of this stuff highlight all of it and then let's bring it off at the bottom a little bit that way you I've already got them lined up I don't want to have to move it again. Just bringing it off at the bottom, so just in case it, it cuts off anything, uh, we're good to go. And that, my friends, is it. So what I'm gonna do right now is try to download this thing. So now it's downloaded. We got 
head back over to StreamYard, click the plus sign, bridge background.png. It takes a second to load it up, and then I can select it. And it's, it'll be ready for church tomorrow. Bam! How do you like that? And there you have it, folks. That's a design. That's I'm literally showing you how to do something. You know, one of the things that's interesting is because of COVID-19 and the pandemic and everybody being indoors and not being able to gather in large groups, uh, a lot of folks have taken to the web for live streaming, especially for houses of faith, uh, organizations that usually meet regularly, um, say once a week. Um, and so these platforms like StreamYard, Ecamm, several others, they've become invaluable in terms of what they provide for engagement. But little hacks like these um, um, really do kind of help it to pop. Um, little hacks like these are things that you want to be able to do for people um, and to just kind of create a better sense of um, branding, I guess is the term I want to use. And as digital citizens, this is what we got to do, right? Uh, this is the world we live in now. This is how we interact with one another is through the digital space. And so just showing you one more thing that you can do. If you use StreamYard, I hope this is helpful. Well, that was fun. Uh, one last thing before I go. Digital citizenship isn't a cool hashtag or a catchy thing to say. It's a way of life. Be mindful, be intentional. Be cognizant about the way you interact with technology. I'm Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. Join us for the journey and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.